Hello and welcome. I'm making this video today because uh, somebody out there just got their barrage. So I ran through my videos real quick and realized I had deleted the videos with this information on it. So I'm going to make this video so it's out there because I want everyone's barrages running for as long as possible. Now the first problem I had with this barrage was... These screws right here. As you can see, that one on the top is no longer the same. That's not the screw I lost though. It was either a day or two after getting my barrage. I was driving and this wheel is a very nice wheel. This wheel right here had a very bad lean in it like I was seeing in a lot of videos. But it wasn't a wobble so automatically knew there is something wrong with my truck because if your tire is lean and it stays like that while you're driving, you actually got something wrong down here in your steering. So you should probably stop your truck really quickly and try to see what the problem is. I went looking and I almost, almost did not notice the screw holes that were there. So I almost was about to set my truck down and start driving it again. Then I noticed on the other side there's a screw sitting there so I cut the power brought it home went back outside where I was driving to try to find that screw couldn't had to wait till the next day to go to the hobby store to find a replacement so that was the first problem I had and the fix and if you got your barrage or you've just gotten one or you have one and you have yet to lose those a tip is to just go ahead unscrew them Put a little bit of Loctite on there, screw them back in, they'll never come out again. I haven't had a problem with any of them, even the one that's the wrong size, which is, it has two washers, so that way the screw doesn't go down and hit anything that spins. Now the second problem, or the second problem that I incurred with my truck is... Is this guy right here now either from just the, the sheer torque this truck has it was slowly it either slowly unspinned it was stripped at the factory or I have no other third possibility except for anything is possible in physics so it just magically jumped off of itself in a parallel dimension and when it came back to my dimension it was no longer attached so anyway it came off now I went for the first easy fix I always run to some Loctite I did not know they sold Loctite in a liquid form last time I was RCing was over 25 years ago and then I really wasn't much into the modification and most of my stuff I fixed with around the house stuff at the time so this did not work and I mean I put a bunch of this on there to the point where I was actually wondering if I'd even be able to get it to thread in I had so much Loctite on um it didn't even last 10 minutes and it was still pulling itself apart so came back in and I got Gorilla Glue Epoxy took my truck apart very carefully cleaned it up to the point where there was none of that dirt and stuff on there so that way when I put the grill glue on it could harden and do its job um, with grill glue I'll have to say be very careful you don't hit anything that moves or is supposed to be moving with that because uh, it will start to harden in five minutes it won't be hard to try to take apart and 24 hours after that it'll take 3300 pounds Per square inch to break that or somewhere in the ballpark of like 180 degrees Fahrenheit to get that to loosen and break and so that was the second problem I've had with my barrage now the third problem and I have other videos so I really won't go into too much detail but the third thing that finally went out was my servo in this this is a stripped servo I just repaired it Put it back together, greased it up, and like I said, I, there's a couple other videos where I talk about that, so just 
go find one of those. And you can see how that was done because there's some other stuff I'd like to talk about real quick while I was doing this video. Just came back from the hobby store. Now there's nothing wrong with that servo, but as you can see, my truck is starting to get heavy. So I picked up this guy right here. So we'll be possibly putting this in the truck or at least trying to figure out how to get it to fit in the truck. And might not be using it until this either eventually breaks from the weight I'm putting onto it. Because I really do want to see how long my repairs and my possible stop stripping the barrage of servos will work. So I will still run this even though I have a much better one. So that's something I'm just going to be tinkering with for a little while. Um, That's all I have to say except for I did miss... Pretty much one of the basic, I guess, mod upgrade. I really don't know what to call it because it's really not much but replacing all of the factory's double-sided glue with Velcro. Just easier to move stuff around and when doing stuff like getting bigger batteries or more lights or running wires and getting stuff off of shocks it's just real easy to be able to take it off move it or seeing as how lots of the times the best place to set stuff was right over the screw holes instead of hiding screw holes or not ever being able to take your tray off again it's just as simple as boop it's gone and that's it for this i hope you guys are having wonderful days great crawls and I shall hopefully be back with actual running video of this on the battery and actually be able to tell you how long it runs for. So far I've gone well over an hour on this battery. I've yet to charge it after I've actually gotten a full charge on it. It's just been too cold at night so I run like 20 minutes, come in, go back out, run another 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. So far I've yet to deplete the battery drain on, or the charge that I put on this battery so far. So... I will get eventual an eventual run, which will be a straight shot of turning the power on and just running until it's out of juice to tell you how long it this battery with this motor will run this truck for. Alright, have a good day.